So I've given some thought to what I want to do next. And I want to do a mob farm. I kind of started one in episode one or two, but I took it down when I started building the tower. And we don't have very much gunpowder at all. A few arrows. Don't really need zombie flesh, but we don't have much. And then bones, we definitely need, because I also want to do a tree farm. But in order to do that, we need bone meal. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put it underground, because I would like it underground. And you get more mobs that spawn and quicker if you're underground. So I'm going to go find a place where we want to put it. And it's a design I just did in like my testing area. It's going to use magma blocks and pistons. Um, and it'll use tripwire to kind of activate. So I'm going to have a tripwire going across and when the mob spawns on the tripwire it'll shoot the piston push the mob into the center where all the magma blocks are and then underneath that will be a hopper minecart and it'll collect all the stuff that way so I think we're gonna build it down here somewhere maybe off in this direction I don't think I'm gonna do it this direction because there's a slime chunk that way and I'll save that for a slime farm later and then if we did this direction, I mean it would work, but the item elevator is right here and the furnace is here. So I'm not sure. I'm going to take a look around and see where I want to put it and then I'll go ahead and get started mining out a little area. I think it's nine tiles tall to start. I can expand onto it to add more floors later, um, but the base floor is nine tiles tall. So I will be back. All right, I've decided I'm going to put it down this way. Um, I think we'll kind of make this the AFK spot here, which means it'll need to be 20. I think it's 24 tiles away for the mobs to actually spawn. So that we'll put it like here somewhere. And it'll just be a single line down. I think it's four tiles on each side. So like nine tiles wide and nine tiles tall. So I'm going to build a little hallway again, which will be about that size. And then we can go ahead and start on the build and I'm gonna get started on digging this out and we'll be back when that's done here is the hole I dug it was not nine wide it was actually five and it's nine tall and it is 30 long so in the middle here is going to be rails that go across on top of the rails will be the magma blocks and then there'll be little platforms for the mobs to spawn on with pistons next to that. So I am going to get started on the build. And we'll check in. I'll probably just finish building it. Or get really close to the end and then bring you guys when that is completed. Alright, I have most of it in place. Uh, these stairs are just to get to the top so I can show you. Um, I have a few more magnet box to place and I need a few more hoppers to get down to this area. I think eventually I'm going to set it up to go straight to the item sorter. And I need the minecart. But basically the string goes all the way across there to the other end. The pistons are here and when something spawns up here it'll shoot them off like that. So I can't even get up here. But mobs will spawn I've already had a few spawn, that's why I put the magma box down already. Um, just so they die and I don't get snuck up behind 
by a creeper. So I am going to get the final resources I need to make the rest of the hoppers and the minecart. And I think that's all I need. So I'm going to go do that and then we'll be back and we can see it in action. So here is the finished product. I created this little tunnel here because I'm going to do a little time lapse. Um, we can see it in action. It's just far enough away to where they'll spawn on most of these blocks. Maybe the first one or two here they won't. Uh, but that's fine. It'll work for our purposes. And then once it's the time lapse is over and I'm just AFKing in the middle, uh, further away from here, it'll work fine. So I'm going to head back to here and zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. Because it is a little bit fur further away. And we'll just kind of sit here for, I don't know, a few minutes and we'll see what kind of drops we get. Okay, so this has been running for 15 minutes or so. And I think I only saw one skeleton. I wasn't watching the entire time. Oops. But I didn't see much. That's the only downside to building it underground like this. So, yeah, there's not much in here. Um, is that minecart still going? It is. So let's push that back in. And I'm going to have to take a look around and fill in all the areas around here that are spawning mobs also. Because I think that is what's slowing us down. So eventually I'm going to like clear out most of this bottom area leading all the way up to the, the top floor. Um, but until then, it's just going to be... Uh, kind of kind of crappy drops unless we can fill in all the areas around it that are dark. So I'm going to take a look around and see what areas maybe have a lot of mobs in it already and I will be back. Alright, I took a look around and I filled in a few places. It, I haven't really checked on it but I'm going to work on the slime farm yeah, nothing new. Um, I'm going to dig out the slime farm. I'll do a little time, first person time lapse for this. And I'm just going to build up. Not build up, but mine up. Because this is a slime farm chunk here. Um, I think it's... Uh, I don't remember how to see the chunk, um, but this is the chunk itself. I opened it earlier and just kind of mined it all out just to make sure it was a slime chunk before I did anything with it, and it is spawning slimes. Underneath here is all lava, and we are at uh, y equals 9, so it's pretty close to the bottom. So I'm just going to mine out going up just kind of do this whole chunk up to y equals I think it's 40 or so um, and that's where the slimes stop spawning so I'm gonna do that and we'll be back when that's all done
Alright, so I got most of it uh, mined out. This has not been doing so well. And I think the problem is not because there's other places for mobs to spawn. I think it's because the spawn area is too small. Because every time I come over here, there's like a million mobs that just kind of appeared. So, like right now, there's one creeper. And let's see if there's anything upstairs. Nothing yet. Nothing here. Nothing here. And probably nothing here. Yeah. But it seemed like every time I came back to this area, there was at least four or five mobs. And that's just me leaving to drop off items in the chests and then coming back. So I think what I want to do is redesign it a little bit. And by it, I mean the, the mob, mob farm. So I think what I want to do is get rid of this torch, is expand this spawn platform out maybe like 10 10 blocks whatever like the water um, can go I think it's six maybe anyways but we'll switch over from pistons to water and we won't use the string we'll just do a timer so like every 30 seconds or so it'll just drop the water that way they have more of an area to kind of spawn in because I think this one wide area is not big enough. So I'm going to get started on that. First thing I'm going to go mend my axes or my picks. And then 
Yeah, I'll mine out some of that stuff and we'll get started on that. Here is the redesigned uh, mob farm. So I still need to set up the timer to do the dispensers with the water. Um, but it works much better. While I was building it, I had a, mo a lot of mobs spawning in. Didn't really want them at the time, but there were a bunch. So right now, the basic idea is every time it gets a pulse, it will either put the water out or bring it back in. And it's manual right now, so it doesn't really work. Um, so I'm going to set up a little hopper timer over here so I can change the timing if I want. It'll be right in the middle. I will probably have a switch to turn it on and off. And that'll be connected to all the dispensers, so they will kind of... I don't know if I'll alternate them. Like, maybe have this side have water out and this side no water. And then when it clicks, this side takes away the water and this one puts water out. Um, but we'll see. I'm going to get started on that, and then when it's all done, we can take a look at the final product and then do a proper time lapse of it, hopefully working this time. Here is version 2 of our mob spawner, or mob farm, whatever you want to call it. So, it is working. That spider just spawned and got pushed off by the water. His items go down and picked up by the hopper carts underneath the magma box. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little time lapse here. And we can see how well we do. I think, yeah, we'll just do, we'll stand here and we'll just do half of the mob spawner. Because I'm close enough to where only half of it will work. So, I'm going to leave it here, and we'll see how many items we get.
Okay, so I think it did pretty well. Let's head over. And I'm not sure how I want to get over there. I think we'll just do this. Um, scratch that. Put this back how it was, and we will cut through here. Let me get pushed off the edge. And we will slowly make our way to the other side. And one thing I did forget to do is put a chest in. Um, but it was only like 10 minutes of time. So it shouldn't be too many things. The hopper should be able to handle it. So first I will empty my inventory. Just so we know what kind of stuff we picked up. I'll keep my food. Just get that all sorted. Alright. So in 10 minutes... We got this. Not too bad. I mean, it's not amazing, but this is only one story of stuff. Um, it's set up to where I can just keep adding going up, and that was only half of uh, the mob spawner running since we were too close for the other half to run. But I think that's going to do it for today's episode. I may get a little bored and add in some more levels by the time the episode comes out, and I may add that in at the end of this episode, but who really knows, this could be the end of it. So thank you for joining me, and I will see you guys next time.